Hello and thank you for clicking the link to the War in Christmas Village YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching a YouTube, then welcome to the shenanigans. If you're not a first timer, then we must be doing something right and welcome back. Today we're going to demonstrate the free downloadable print and play tabletop miniatures game called War in Christmas Village. On this side we have the Mrs. who is our holiday hero and Jack Frost who is our seasonal sidekick. Each side gets four snow people and a workshop elf in their adventuring party. This is a standard present. Each player gets to place two of these on the game board. We've got four total on the map, and each one of those is worth one standard Kringle point if you capture it, and two if you take it off the board. Here's James's side. He has the Easter Bunny as his holiday hero and Blitzen as his seasonal sidekick. We're playing the Christmas Treant scenario, which means each time the Christmas Treant takes a point of damage, one of the standard presents drops out from underneath of it. These are the Mrs. Special Ability cards, and those are belong to Jack Frost. Here are our print and play miniatures. We put those on cardstock, and it worked out really well. Just printed them up at FedEx. I notice I'm missing my workshop elf. They were a little late to work today, no worries. Workshop elves are awesome. They're good at melee and ranged combat, whereas the snow people focus strictly on melee combat. James won initiative, so that means he gets to go first. And today we are playing in Gingerbread Town, which at one point was its own municipality, but it has since been rezoned to become part of Christmas Village. An angry Christmas treant has stumbled into town and the governor has sent us to safely subdue and capture the elder forest dwelling creature. This YouTube contains strong graphic language. Viewer discretion advised. So the Easter Bunny is playing the special action card, the leap. So the Easter Bunny is going to jump a lot. That's what so the Easter Bunny does. I'm leaping 10 inches and then moving there and I totally on get on there. So I'm on top of it. So the Easter Bunny did some super baller moves and... Oh, and the tree is going to come after me though, right? Well, the tree goes to the closest thing it can sense. The tree does not need line of sight. So yeah, the treant will move towards you. Oh, crap. So your next move? Hmm. Okay. I, I do have enough to move that far. Okay. So I think I'm trying to do that. Alleg allegedly. Oh. Oh, yeah. And then I'll move a little snowman with them. There's a snowman. Okay, so it's my turn? Yes. We are over here on this side of the board, and I'm going to go ahead and start with the missus. Here is the card. So her movement says four. So that means that her turn, she gets two actions this round, so she can move four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, double move this way, which will be eight inches. And then I also am going to move one of the soldiers that was next to her as a guard. And then I have to put a token next to that to show that my turn has been finished. Thank you, James. So that shows that those have been moved and activated. So turn goes over to James. <coughs> James is over there. I'm, I'm going to move a snowman. Double move? Double move. Okay. So turn comes over, plate comes over to me, and I'm going to move this snow person. A double move and that'll make it eight inches up to here to this treasure. Oh no, wait a minute. That means the treant's gonna move. So I'm gonna come back over here. The treant. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, my turn is finished and I'm gonna put a token next to that to show that I've been done. I've done with my turn. James, it's your okay. turn. James has moved. And it's your turn again. And you put a little token there to show that his person has moved. So Jack Frost. Oh look, earthquake, the trees, the wind has been blowing. Oh by the way, we rolled uh, we rolled the weather die and weather what is line of sight? 18 inches. Eight, 18 inches. We forgot to show that. <coughs> rolled the weather die, 18 inches of line of sight. Jack Frost over here he has a movement of four. So we're gonna do that double movement drama. <laughs> And move over. No, actually, we're gonna move four inches, and we're gonna have this person activate with him and move up to eight. And then, uh, no, let's screw that. We'll move up here. Whoops, pardon my French. James, it's your turn. And then I have to put a token to show that this has been done. I'll put the blue sparkly for Jack Frost. Um, I will. Here's what Jack Frost's stats look like. Maybe not. Okay, my elf moved and he's gonna take a shot at Mr. Tree Imp. 
the trans. Okay, so the elf moved. So first he. Turn, and then you're gonna take a shot, and you get plus one on that shot. I think because it's because he's large. Yeah. Okay. Because so, we move here. in the gate of the and I get a plus. God damn it, none. And uh, wow, maybe if you didn't use the Lord's name in vain, James, you would roll better. Well, oh, Jesus Christ, who's that? Okay, so the elf took a shot. Dude, the tree poop out a tree. And missed. <laughs> poop out Can't a hit the broad, this time. Here's the broad side of the barn. Maybe you should try shooting at that. <laughs> so, <laughs> commentator, commentator, hilarious commentator. <laughs> yeah. Back over to the winner side. <laughs> uh, we're going to take, hey, hey, yes. take this elf and do a double movement, the workshop elf, and do a double movement. <laughs> we are, yes, we are at war with Christmas Village. This is great. Thanks. It's, uh, we're <laughs> testing out the print and play version. I make minis as well, but I thought, why not allow people, yeah. they don't have to buy into the system, they should be able to print and play. So you move, sir? So, yeah, so okay. I move the elf. So we're doing the... Uh, the pagan, pagan holiday. Okay, so throw. James, we, uh, would you explain what you did over here? Uh, Blitzen moved. Oh, Blitzen moved. Where's Blitzen? He's right here now. Okay, Blitzen moved and is hiding behind the tree because yes. he's brave. Yes. And then you moved the snow person and the elf took a shot. Okay, yes. so I'm going to do a double move okay. with this snow person and we're just going to move eight inches. Okay. The tree over here. Okay. And then I did my hey, last I, one. I voted. If you were actually, all, I had my sticker today. at home. So you, what did you do, James? I moved uh, the snowman. Okay, so the snowman came over here to like hang out with to Blitzen. To dry hump Blitzen, yes. Apparently. <laughs> Snow hump. Okay, so now we it's the it's the Christmas critters phase, right? Well, one thing, we should pick up all the dice. Okay, pick up all of our activation dice. And then now it is the is tree. Is it the tree who, no. is the, who is closest dun, dun, to the Christmas dun, dun, dun. tree? I am a good foot, oh, so funny. it's your side. So we're gonna go. The, who is closest to the Christmas tree? <clears throat> is it this one? Yes. Fuck, it's going to My plan. I'm too distracted by filming to sh to pay attention. So this is gonna come over here to the elf. His fruits are now toast. <laughs> so the Christmas Perfect, tree, because the more we beat up the Christmas tree, yes. the more presents pop out. And the more you die, the better. <laughs> So I would roll for the Christmas tree, right? Uh, it took two moves to get there. It doesn't have Oh, okay, it. cool. So basically the Christmas tree, it took two moves to get there, so they can't attack. All right, initiative. So we're over here in the corner with the tree, and it came over to get the elf, and uh, the snow person moved around, whoops, the snow person moved around into combat and hit the treant, but the treant has toughness, has tough bark, so it avoided all damage, sadly. But I've still, okay. got, I've still got some more troops over here, so we're gonna keep trying. You can, do, you can do some more if you like. And the missus is over here, ready with her bow. <coughs> so James moved a snow person over here in front of the present. Did you grab the present or no? No, it was a double, it was a double move to it's get there, so move. you couldn't grab it. Yeah. All right, my turn. We're gonna yes. do another, we're gonna do the second combat over here with this snow person. Okay. So we're going to attack with the treant. Is the glitter dice. <laughs> so, okay, my roll was a six, but I've got two people over here flanking the treant, which adds another plus two to my roll. So plus the snowman gets plus one. So that really, six is really a nine. Okay. Which, uh, hits the treant, but barely. Ooh, and the treant's a little. The treant is a 14. The treant rolled a 14 because they're big. And which so snowman am I getting ready to die? Kill. <laughs> that's no damage. Oh, oh I'm not you did to me. Yeah. Damn it. So I'm gonna put a marker over here to show that this snow person is done. Your turn, James. <laughs> so he is moving over here and picking up the present. Okay, so that snow person moved over there from behind the tree and picked up the present. Okay. And uh, we'll just keep combat over here. We have this elf okay. who's gonna probably kill the tree because elves are pretty badass in this game. So the elf no, not with that. <laughs> <laughs> not with that. that yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were rolling, I probably won it. I choose not to okay, disengage. So my little three people over here, I put a little token, all my three people are done. Hmm. James's turn. Here's another view from this angle of what's going on. So James moved the workshop elf over here on top of the mountain to get yes. some aims probably to shoot people. Shoot. He needs some sunlight. He was getting deaf. Okay. I'm over here and we're in trouble. Everybody <laughs> keeps trying to beat up this tree and it's not working. So I'm going to take Jack Frost over here and he's going to do a move action. Um, he can move four inches and then I'm going to play a special ability card. And the uh, special ability card I'm going to do is Control Snowman. Right? Okay. 
And that's 12 inches to there, and then another six to there. So I'm gonna hit this snowman with oh, control. Oh, what you doing now? Control snowman with Jack Frost from over here. Oh! What I did is I moved Jack Frost over here, and then I'm gonna play a special ability card, which is the control snowman card. Jack Frost can spend a standard action to instantly gain control of one snow person within the line of sight. And I'm gonna pick that one with the treasure. Thanks, James. Take, James has decided to take Blitzen, who's more of a barbarian type character, to come up into combat. And uh, so what we tree. have going on here is we have melee combat, and we have two people attacking this one, so they each get a plus one for flanking bonus. All right. And I'm not playing around, so... Um, oh, wait. James is not playing around. James is going to use a special activation card, perhaps? Yeah, I got a plus three. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, yeah. So, so I get a plus four, plus one to my armor. Okay. So James is going to do a bone rush. I rolled oh, a five. Plus Eleven. One. I rolled a six. Okay, 11. roll damage. So James rolled an 11, which is higher than my defense. Three. So is that two? And he does two points of damage. And he rolled a three on the damage die, which is two points of damage. Oh, that says three on it. Oh, I'm just I using them as solid pieces. Okay. Gotcha. But right. gotcha. <laughs> so Mrs. Claus just moved over here from around the corner and then took a shot at this snow person, and I rolled damage, and she did one point of damage. So okay, James, see. your turn. Let's see. I think the Easter Bunny might be doing something. All right, so we have the Easter Bunny sneaking around somewhere over here, Hustle oh, Pfeffer, for dinner. We'll put, we'll put him in uh, Mrs. Claus's stew pot if he's not careful. She has a great Hustle Pfeffer recipe. Hustle Pfeffer. There he is. There's the Easter Bunny. So wait, okay. Uh, and then now what we're doing, we're taking the Easter Bunny's coming over here. Oh, what, he's taking a shot at the Mrs. Oh, Claus. he's taking two shots, because he's using his multi-shot multi card. So the Easter Bunny's coming for the misses. And then I'm also using She's a card lady. where I get two plus two to the shoot. Okay, so what are you doing, James? James so is going to use uh, multi-attack. He's using two attacks. special. He's using two special ability cards. He's using a multi-shot, which means he gets two attacks, and then he's using the sniper shot, which we apparently need to change the name. But he gets plus two to a single range <laughs> melee attack. Okay. So, so which one are you going to add the sniper shot it, to? I am doing uh, this first one. Rolled, to, uh, it's a six. Easy uh, bunny rolled a six, which is not enough to hit shooting Judy. Right. So now I get uh, another shot, but this is unaided. His first shot. He added his sniper shot. Yes. Yes. God damn it. Uh, God damn it. Uh, James, maybe if he didn't forsake the Lord's name. Uh, God damn motherfucker. <laughs> seven. Does that do you Seven that plus any bonuses? Uh, no, not on that one. Or, well, no, because I still missed. So, no, so he missed. So the I, took, bunny, wait, I took a shot. This side does the, do I still get my normal bonus or a move? You get a normal bonus, but. So move, it's still not enough. Moved, it's eight. eight. So, James, is it uh, so your turn finished? It, I am so James finished. Minute, James finished with these cards. They're one time use cards, so they're banned. They go over there. I'm surprised. Okay, so we've got Jack Frost over here. He is going to uh, move. Four inches. And is he going to take a shot to the here? Easter boy? And then he is going to use one of his special ability cards uh, Ice Storm. He is going to use Ice Storm. Jack Frost can summon an ice storm to cause problems for his foes. Pick a target point on the board within line of sight. All figures within an inch square the target point must roll eight or higher on a dodge skill check or suffer one point of damage. And that whole area becomes a rough terrain. My god, this is older, so it's... <laughs> so for this round, uh, Jack Frost moved and did the ice storm. And, and so where's your eight by eight and sheet. all that? And so I'm going to drop the 8x8 eight eight sheet right here. Wait a minute, is your point 18 inches and all that? Yeah, that's within 18 inches. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Let me measure it. Yeah, we can measure that, James. Yeah, yes, before sure. it fucks 18, me up. 18 inches, and then yeah, yeah. 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 So there's 18 inches. Yeah, I can do it. So we do 18 to the center or the farthest point? I'd say 18, 18 to the center. 18 to the center, and then it explodes yeah. from wherever. <laughs> You pick a target. You pick the target point, and it goes. To shoot. So everybody on under that sheet. Oh, barely. It's now rough yes. terrain, and everybody has to roll an eight or higher. Rough terrain means they get half. Yes, yes, we are going to have Hassan Tucker. <laughs> One point of damage, eight or higher. Dodge check. 
Damn it. Easter Bunny's Damn good man. at dodging, though. So. We're going to do a dodge check, which means uh, uh, James gets to roll a uh, dodge modifier to any of his figures that have a dodge modifier. God damn it! A five. And the Easter Bunny suffers one point of damage. Oh, so you want to roll for a snow person? Snowman, this one. Yes. Makes it. And then the other one. Yes. So the Easter Bunny suffers one point of damage. This area is now considered rough terrain. Okay, good job, Jack. Slow him down. And then put a little <clears throat> marker to show that the turn is finished. <clears throat> So I still have this. Oh God! Damn. James, this new activation is damn working it. out beautifully. Damn it's it. so quick. I can't get over to Haas and Pfeffer. James is having trouble with that. One, two. <laughs> you know, it, it would make sense that Icemen wouldn't, or Snowmen would have no terrain problem. Exactly. It's like so let's go ahead. Let's just say they have no problem because it oh, would cool. make sense that Ice people. I, why would Ice people have exactly. problems working on ice? So James right. just won initiative. So we're going to take off all the tokens for our activations. All right, James. I'll go ahead and remove these over here. Long Long day. Okay, so I'm doing Easter Bunny, and he's also moving the snowman. Okay, so he's going to so, do a group activation. So the Easter Bunny is going to shoot a jack. Okay, shooting a jack frost. He's got a clean shot. Oh, wait. Yes, plus two. Well, it's under, yeah, I'd give you like plus, plus one. one. Okay. So I got soft cover. Oh, dude. Which adds to my dodge, which will be nice. Oh, hey, Vaughn. The Easter Bunny's tough. What's the Easter Bunny going to do? A special shooting? shooting Maybe shooting? some grenades. Oh, he might be tossing an egg explosive grenade. <laughs> explosive. <laughs> So when I make a ranged attack with this, I add my multiplier to Yeah. Okay. So you just pick a point and then it explodes yes. from there. Well, let's see. My point's going to be right so there and the, it's going to explode the, from there. The Easter Bunny is tossing an egg explosive. Where's the card, James? Let me read oh, this. Yeah. So the Easter Bunny is, is using a special action ability card, explosive ammo. The Easter Bunny can play this card and use a standard action to shoot an explosive high-tech arrow. Pick a target point within 12 inches and line of sight. The arrow oh, lands at this spot inches, damn and explodes it. attacking all figures within three inch radius of the target. Ooh, I can still do that. Yes. Make a range attack and roll separately yes. for each attack. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, it lands right there even with 12 so inches. So he's going to drop it drop, drop it like it's hot and then blow up everything in sight. So I'll do snowman first and I get a plus what two. What are you even doing in Christmas Town, sir? Can I see your visa <laughs> and Ooh, passport? I got an 11. For who? For the snowman. Okay, so snow and the snowman's going to try and dodge. Damn yes. it! Dash. Okay, next shot. Damn it! Uh, the misses. Uh, Eight. ten. It's a hit. And the misses rolls a five. So roll yes. for damage on the misses. Yes. <gasps> Shooting the misses. Three, one point. That's one point of damage to the misses claws. Yes. Jack leave the frosty. You or sir are going to end up in her stew pot. Ooh, nine, eleven on Jack. Eleven on Jack Frost. And Jack Frost rolled yes. a seven. So that's a hit. Roll for Jack Frost. Two, damn it, one point. I want some six. That's three points. <laughs> So six is the only way to get one. Okay, player. so yeah, one. if you roll a six, you can you can one like hit. Crit, right? Yeah, it's kind of like a crit. Except the tree hint has five hit points. So somewhere. bunny and then bunny rabbit hadn't moved, so he's just doing his little scurrying over there. Wait a minute, the bunny rabbit was here. Correct. And he moved over here. And no, 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 no. Oh, he, he did not. Oh, he no, attacked. he moved out of the way. So he attacked in the middle. Yes. Yeah, so now he attacked and moved behind. Okay. So now it is time for. Turn some fire. <laughs> if we can, I don't know if we can. Guess what we have? We also have some explosive ammo. It basically works the same way as the Easter bunnies. Uh, is it a? You have to pick a target or a target point. Target point. Okay. So I'm gonna pick the target point right here. Actually, I'm gonna pick a target point right here and try to get all three. Let me see if I can measure this. It's 12 inches, right, James? E, yes, 12 inches and we're three inches. So if I pick a target point here, yes. is that three inches? Probably. It might not be. 
Oh yeah, it is. Barely. Okay, so that's what she's Barely. gonna do, and she's gonna take okay. aim. Cause you can do like that. She's gonna take aim, so that she's gonna get an extra plus one. No, actually, she's not gonna take aim. Wait, no, because I didn't do that with the bunny. She's not gonna. She's not gonna take aim. She's gonna get out of here. So the first grenade. attack. Her first attack is against the snow person, and that would be a five plus two is seven. Shooty Judy gets plus two. Roll for the snow person, James. Cause his Zero armor dodge. is seven. So that needs to be. Oh, damn it. Okay, damage oh. on the snow person. Uh, one, one point. point so now we're going to roll for Jack Frost. You mean the Easter Bunny? I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. You can go damage on Jack Frost. I heard Seven that. Seven plus two is nine. Damn That's it. a hit. Into the stew pot with you, Easter Bunny. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh fuck! Yes! I think the Easter, Easter Bunny is has dead. ended up no captured. Everyone gets captured. The Easter Bunny is dead. That goes on our side because we get we get Kringle points. Those are heavy blood coming out of me. We get Kringle points. We get Kringle I'm not, points. I'm not bleeding to death. It's red licorice. That's happiness. We get a good Kringle point for that. Good job, Shooty well, Judy. That's why we call you Shooty Judy. All right, now it's time. It doesn't matter. Let's shoot for the. We already attained our victory. Let's go for the other one. Oh, okay. Which is really not in there. <laughs> That's a six plus two is eight. That's a hit. Damn it! And does he dodge? Seven. No. no. Snowmen do not. Does not do dodge. That. So damage. Oh fuck. Two is points. It is it two points? Yeah. Two points of licorice. <laughs> oh <my gosh>. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Shooty Judy. It's and then now what she's gonna do is move. move. Six is automatic. Oh, wait, there's well, nothing most, that can really three, shoot. Yeah, it is automatic. For so, points, yeah. She's gonna. Oh, that elf can shoot. Is that what everybody has? Uh, I think so. <laughs> yeah. She's gonna move over here. She's gonna move over here. That is the standard. There might be some outliers, but yes, it is three. Standard. And then that is her finished turn, and I put a token back. <laughs> it's terrain, just terrain. James, it's your turn. But Jack Frost has a card. He could actually animate those statues. But instead, I chose to take over one of his. <laughs> yeah. This one. Great. <laughs> well, will you contact and I'd love to give you a run through and a demo and yeah, we can play with the cutouts or this time was minis. On I, I kind of, this I'm kind of enjoying the cutouts. What do you think, James? This, there's a difference. Yes. A change of pace, I guess. The yes. cutouts. I'm a cheapo, so I'd probably start there. But the minis, there's nothing like having minis. Oh, the minis That's are That's awesome. Yes. I'm just not very good at painting minis, so but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Oh my god, this is given to her. <laughs> Get to work! There will be no Christmas without you. I like you. doing it too, I'm just not as good at it. Okay, I moved my snowman. So James has moved the snowman with the treasure over there. Uh, snowman movement is the minus one with treasure, so they moved out of the way. Uh, is your turn finished? Okay. Yes. I'm so now we're going to come over here and... Uh, Jack Frost is going to take a shot at that snow person right there. Not the poor snow person. Yes, the poor, the snow, poor person. snow person. And they should have dodged it. They're, so okay. that'd be a 10 plus eyes. 1. Oh, that's a I hit. I hate these dodge. You can use these. Mine are rolling hot. A 5. That's enough points of damage to take oh, him out of commission. Damn it. Poof. It's another victory. He also that's, another, that's another Kringle point over here for, He's team, also cap for team, team Shooty Judy. <laughs> captured and moved to the yes. ICU of the hospital. He's, He's fine. been Just captured say, and moved over here to the team, animals. the winning team of Shooty Judy. Did you put a die on that fucker if he does? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put a die by there and make sure that he's finished. Yeah, yes. James, which one are you going to do? I think this snow man's going to attack that okay, snow Okay, we got man. some combat. I don't think we're going to get any Kringle points. It's going to be all about killing each other. James is going to win the game. <laughs> okay, so I rolled a 10. Oh, damn it! And I get a plus 2 because... Uh, yeah, you get yeah. plus 1. Uh, okay, so I'm going to kick that one guy back. Because I won, I won the die roll, but there was no damage. So I'm going to get to kick him back an inch. Which make combat better for the rest of us. And your turn. Okay. So now, uh, who's gonna take a shot? <laughs> this no person's gonna come over here and engage in combat with the treant, so okay. he needs some more bonuses. And I rolled a six plus one for his normal combat, and then seven, seven eight, nine, ten. That hits. Roll a ten or higher, the treant takes no damage. Ah, yes, nine, three, twelve. <laughs> So no damage. Okay, so combat was damn it. I know it. <laughs> You've got to stack up. Okay, your turn, James. Hmm. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's see. Blitzen is going to try to kill his. Uh, Blitzen is going to try again. and come over here and uh, take care of this traitor, the Benedict Arnold, that was okay. once part of James's team, but. Jack I get a plus two. Had something else to say about that. Okay, so. Well, actually, plus three total. His normal plus two, and then plus one for flanking. There's the guys out of flank, though. Yeah. Oh, that's right. So I just get yeah. plus two. So that's seven. That's nine. So James, I mean, uh, nine. Nice. I rolled a nine, even. Okay, so I can play this um, and do one more, so I do damage. Okay, so we rolled an even nine and nine. James is going to play a special ability card. It's called Blitzen Combat Ready. After this card is played, Blitzen receives an additional plus one to his melee combat roll. This card may be played at any time, including after the dice are rolled. So that means James automatically wins that because he played that card. Rolling damage. Come on! Knock some prone, but I drew. Okay, you knocked him prone, but I dropped the treasure. Fuck yeah! So. Oh, oh, well, I can only move Blitzen, right? Yeah. So James rolled a one on damage, which means my character gets knocked prone, and I drop the treasure. Oh, you're going to move out of the cool way? <laughs> so Blitzen decides to retreat. Here's I think so. Okay. Oh, but he still gets his move, right? I'm not sure Hey, can I move over here and keep hitting it? <laughs> After knocking the snow person I broke prone, his ankle and now Blitzen I ran away. Blitzen decided to move over here and hide behind the tree again. I guess yep. he has to go to the I didn't do it. Okay, so now we're over here. So I'm going to take this uh, snow person and we're going to try and get off the board with this treasure, which means I can do a double move of eight. But since I'm carrying a treasure, it's minus one per movement. So that'll make me six, go six. So we're going to go three over here. And then we're going to make sure... We're gonna go another three over here because I don't want this elf to take a shot at me. So now the elf is gonna to have to move. Like the elf's gonna to have to move or something. To get a shot. And I take a token next to my piece to show that it has been played. It's James's turn. Well, this elf then is gonna take a shot. The sniper elf. Sniper elf. On the grassy knoll. <laughs> On the mud knoll. The, the mountain of mud. Yes. Is gonna take. Are you shooting at Trudy? She, she makes you. She oh, makes you skirt. homemade mead. Yes. She gives so you MMs. I'm taking taking aim, so I get a total of plus two. Okay, so the elf is going oh. to take aim, which means he's not moving, and he gets. An, he's taking his move action to add a plus one to his shot. He's within range. Of Mrs. Claus, and, and I'm so, elevated, so I didn't get a plus so one. He's elevated, so he gets an additional plus one. So I get a total so of plus total three. Total is going to be plus three in this die roll. Come on! Oh, yes! Oh my Fourteen! God. <laughs> oh my God! There's Does no way. Has... Okay, so Mrs. Claus rolled a, not a seven. Okay, so roll damage on Shooty Judy's. Come on, six. He's on six. Damn it! Uh, so it is one point of damage. Yes. Mrs. Claus. She's one, dripping. She's got one more hit point, and she's out of game. Dripping. She never liked you anyway, Twinkle Toe. <laughs> I never got any of those cookies. <laughs> bunch. Okay, um, over here, we've got a bunch of just combats to go through, so I'm just going to turn the camera off, and we're just going to roll through them. So the treant did one point of damage to the snow person here, and then over here, James won initiative, and he's going to move the snow person off. Because the edge is right yeah, here. we're doing the edge. We're playing three by three, even though they're not four by four. And he's taking his gun drops with him. James has uh, one Kringle point, and is... Oh, he's not in the lead because I have three <coughs> Kringle points. What from what? Your no. my, my capturing of your enemies. Gotcha, capturing. No. Uh, so with me it's, no, it's, with it's, me it's, it'll be my turn. So we're gonna have this guy over here grab yep. the treasure, and then okay. he's gonna move with an inch though to grab it. So move an inch and grab the treasure. Actually, no, we're not gonna do that because <laughs> then I get a penalty to combat. We're gonna do. Um, let's get rid of this tree. We'll do this one with combat on the tree. The snowman in front. Yep. Rolled a 10 plus one is 11. I got a 9 plus 3 is 12. Okay, no damage. Nothing. I did next, oh. next one is a 4. Nothing. Next snowman is a 9 plus one is a 10. That's a hit. It's 10. Nothing. And then 